How you doing, folks? <laughs> nice to be here and here in Auckland. You know, America, you get, we get a hard rap around the world these days. Hey, from America, man. Truth is, America's just a big old country town. <laughs> A country town that wants to destroy all the other country towns. A country town, nonetheless. I'm proud of America, you know I am. Uh, we've invented a lot of great things over the years, you know. Uh, for example, uh, freedom. But there's uh, some things I'm not so proud of. The fact that over in America you can buy cheese in a tube like toothpaste. No one needs cheese that quickly. care who you are. Cut some damn cheese. You're not that busy. I like New Zealanders. I like it here. You're all pretty laid back. I was coming through customs the other day. A guy came up to me with his dog. I thought, that's pretty loose, bringing your dog to work. He said, uh, you got any bananas? I said, nope said, you got any nuts? I said, no. He said, you got any fruit of any kind? I said, what are you doing, putting a hamper together for your workmates? <laughs> said, ain't, ain't you gonna ask me if I got any guns or bombs or nothing? He said, no. He said it would take you a long time to blow up or shoot all the sheep in this country. But one diseased banana could kill them all. That freaked me out, man. That freaked me out, man, you know. I didn't even know sheep ate bananas. Walking down the road the other day, I saw a sign on a door. It said, uh, door must be kept closed at all times. <laughs> That's not a door anymore. <laughs> That's a bit of the wall with a handle. Play a song if you get This man's a favorite with audiences all over the globe. Please welcome our friend, Danny Boy. to me, credit crunch, what credit crunch? That's what that says to me. Still mustn't grumble. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. As my uncle used to say to me, before he was killed in a hot air ballooning accident. <laughs> he, uh... So, uh... <laughs> so you can catch a deadly virus from pigs, eh? Looks like it's advantage Muslim world once again. Uh, the... It's good, that. Okay. International superstar. Well, I'm going to tell you a quick story, right? Because I don't want to keep you... <laughs> This is, I've just come back. I've been touring Australia, right, for the past uh, uh, three months. I mean, I did a tour of mining towns in the far... Oh, yeah, living the dream. Uh, <laughs> in the far northwest of Australia. Now, I've been on tour for a long time, and I'm tired. I won't lie to you, I'm pretty tired. I'm, I'm in a different bed every night on... on uh, well, not in, you know... <laughs> not in a Russell Brand way. Uh, but um, I'm in a different bed every night on this tour. I was in the far northwest of, uh, of Australia, a place called Caratha. And uh, now I'll try and stay in the best places in, in town, but very often they're still shitholes. I'll stay in like a hotel, sometimes a motel. A motel is like a hotel, in the same way a McDonald's is like a restaurant, yeah? <laughs> I checked into this motel in the far northwest of Australia, a place called Caratha. It was called the All Seasons Motel. Sounds nice, doesn't it? All Seasons. There's only two seasons in Caratha. Hot 
and bastard hot. <laughs> I checked in about one o'clock in the morning. I saw something I hadn't seen in all my travels before. There was a lizard on the wall, right? Well, yeah, about that size. Just looking at me like that, fucking... <laughs> I thought, what the hell is that? I can't sleep with that fucking... I thought it was a wall ornament at first. So I was kind of peering at it, but it's breathing through his neck. I, I thought, that's not right. So I phoned up reception. True story. I said, hello. There appears to be a small dinosaur in my room. The guy says, oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, that's a gecko. And he hung up. wanted to know. <laughs> Hello, what's that smell of shit? Oh, you took a shit on my bed. Oh, thanks very much. Just needed to know that. Clear that up. I phoned back. I said, I said, it wasn't a bloody trivia question. I want to know what to do about the gecko. He says, you can't do nothing about the bloody geckos, mate. Bloody everywhere, mate. Bloody... Bloody lucky if there's only bloody one of them. <laughs> so I thought, right, I'll have to ignore this thing, right? I got into the bed, got into the bed in this motel. Got that, that's the other thing. I don't know why this is every hotel, motel bed you stay in in the world. Why do they feel the need to tuck the bed sheets so fucking tight into the mattress? Where am I going to go? Is this a major problem? People falling out of hotel beds all the time. <laughs> You can see the aggression on the housekeeper's face when she's doing it. Come on, get that bit there, right in there. Come on. No one's ever getting in this bed. Give me the staple gun. Bang, bang, bang. You can't get in. A couple of nights ago, I had to slide down from the back wall of my hotel into the sheets. I felt like I, felt like I was being faxed. I'm sure there was another room in the hotel receiving my legs as I... And then... <laughs> and then you get in. And you go, well, I guess that's me for the night. Probably won't be moving much. Put the old arms in there. Pro probably won't be doing what I usually do at this time of night. Reading my Bible, that is. Uh, I don't know what you were thinking about. Do you know, it's the little things. It's the little things in hotels that annoy you after a while. You're going to the bathroom and you go, oh, look, there's a hairdryer on the uh, wall there. And you pick it off. It's got all the impact of an elderly relative <laughs> breathing on your head, hasn't it? <laughs> uh... Is this on full? It's on full. <laughs> well, this would be ideal if the look I was going for was hot and wet. <laughs> anyway, I'm in this bed. <laughs> this fucking thing. <laughs> they've got no eyelids, geckos. That's the only look they've got. As if you've got the problem. What is it? What are you looking at? <laughs> well, you're looking at me. This is the only look I've got, pal. I can't... Doesn't matter where I go, I'll still be looking at you. I thought, I'll ignore the gecko. Out of sight, out of mind. I thought, I'll turn out the light, ignore it. Turned out the light, no one told me this. That's when the bloody thing comes to life. <laughs> turn out the light, I hear this. <laughs> That's it, running across the wall. I turn on the light and it's fucking over there. <laughs> Looking at me, what, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? You were there and you're now there. We both know you've moved, pal. <laughs> you can't prove anything, you just... Or all, this happened all night. Every time I turn out the light, turn it on, it's somewhere else. And do you know the worst moment of the night? Four o'clock in the morning, I turn on the light, I can't see it. So where the hell is this little bloody gecko looking around, can't see it? It's gone, I think to myself, right? Get back in the old bed. I was just about to turn out the light. It's on the bloody ceiling. I screamed like I've never screamed before. Ah! It dropped onto my chest 
and it's just sitting here like that. But the sheets are so tight, I can't get this fucking thing off. I did the strangest thing I've ever done in my life. Don't know why I did this. I started blowing on the gecko. Get off you. Gecko's loving it. Oh, this is lovely. This is... I usually have to straddle the hair dryer for this kind of treatment. Ladies and gentlemen, lovely. Thank you very much.